How's it going everyone? Sean here from Rock Technique Studios. I just want to give you guys a little bit of a tip on fixing your latency issues during recording. If you're getting that um, echo in your headphones when you're trying to record and it's throwing you off, well there's a way to lessen that sound and that is with the buffer size. So if you go up here to setup, playback engine, you have your buffer size right here. Now if your buffer size is at a high sample right here, you're doing 1024 samples, then what your computer is doing is having to grab big chunks to buffer at a time. So it's grabbing 1024 samples all at once and then it takes that in and grabs another 1024 samples, takes that in. So it's a slower process for the computer. It grabs a big chunk and then it grabs a big chunk. Compared to if you're way down here at 32 samples, then your computer is grabbing a little bit, a little bit, a little bit, and it's constantly doing that. And the computer's working really hard to do that. Now, there's a negative to both of these sides. If you're at 32 samples, most likely your computer's going to start popping, clicking, causing distortion, cutting out, not being able to keep up. If you're at 1024, uh, then you're going to have that latency, the echo. So, what you're trying to do is find an in between. Uh, samples so that your computer is able to keep up without causing any issues during recording and you're also not getting too much latency in your headphones. So what I would do is start high. I'd go to the 512. If it's still too much latency for you then bring it down to 256. If it's still too much go down to 128 but I wouldn't go any lower than that at least not with the computer I have. It can't keep up after that. So let me show you an example. Let's go to the highest sample, press OK, and I'm going to record enable this track. Check, check, check one, two. two. As, As you, you can hear, hear, I'm getting a uh, latency when I have that record enabled. So that could throw somebody off when they're um, singing or rapping. And what you want to do is lower your buffer so you get less of that. So let's go down to 512. Check, check, check one, two. So that one's actually pretty good. I would probably start with that, and if the artist is still uh, wants it to have a little bit less latency, I'd go down one more, but that already sounds okay to me. Now I'm gonna do the drastic version, go all the way down to 32 samples so you can hear what it does. So expect to hear possible distortion. Uh, the computer's gonna um, throw up a error saying that it can't record, it can't keep up. Uh, there might be some popping sounds, just stuff like that. So let's take a listen. Check, check, check one, one, two, two. Check, 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 check. So what I'm going to do is record a little bit and see if the computer could keep up. No, oh, I didn't even get to record anything. It, it went straight to this error, CPU overload error, uh, try increasing the buffer size. So right away the computer couldn't keep up and it already tells you you have to increase your buffer again. So you go back to Playback Engine and then you just find the samples that work. Let's try the 256. That's probably a good one. And let's just record something. Check. Check one, two. Check. Check one, two. Latency is not too bad and the computer is able to keep recording. So it's a good in between. Alright, so that's a couple ways to help you, or that's one way to help you get your latency under control and if you're having issues with recording cutting out and stuff then you have to increase your buffer size. Um, just find that in between to get a good recording and to be able to not have something distracting like latency in your headphones.